Hey everyone, and welcome to Benny's Corner. Hi, uh, magandang araw po sa ating lahat. So, welcome to Benny's Corner. Hi! <laughs> so, for my debut episode ng aking uh, Benny's Corner, so, I'm going to feature today is a very special rosary na uh, ginagamit ng Augustinian family at also ng members ng Cofradia ng Nuestra Señora de la Consolación y Correa at ito po ay ang coronilla ng Mahanabirin ng Consolacion or the crown of Our Lady of Consolation and Sanctuary or sometimes it is known as the Augustinian Rosary. So, magtataka kayo, magtataka kayo ng kote para, huh? Pati, mga, pati pala mga Agustina may rosario? Yes, they do. They do have. And uh, ito po ay ang coronilla ng mahal na birhe ng Consolacion y Correa. As I'm holding it right now. And I'm going to explain later why it was arranged like this. Okay? I'll be explaining that to you in a bit. Okay? So, uh, every, before everything else, so I just want to say thank you sa mga nakanood sa introductory episode ng ating vlog. Maraming maraming salamat po and I hope that you will enjoy uh, the upcoming vlogs that I am preparing as of the moment. Okay, so let's keep it, okay, so let's keep it going. Now, uh, they do have this very special rosary dedicated uh, in honor of Our Lady of Consolation and Sanctuary, the patroness of the Augustinian family. Okay, so this uh, kind of rosary was a bit different because uh, this rosary uh, or the coronilla of Nuestra Señora de la Consolación y Correa is the, is the chaplet where we would meditate o ipagninilay-nilayan po natin ang labing dalawang artikulo na ating pananampalataya na nakalaga na napapaloob or nakasaad dun sa ating Apostles Creed or the Credo. Okay, so uh, I'm going to demonstrate po sa inyo ngayon ang um, paggamit at pagdarasal ng Coronilla ng Mahal na Biren ng Consolasyon di Korea. Okay, so there were different versions ng mismong chaplet beads ng Coronilla because some would have the third, yung pang 13th invocation dito sa bandang dulo or you or it will be placed here or minsan wala pa nga but basically uh, uh most basic form is the, at least you would have the 12 uh the 12 sets of our father and hail mary beads but in this case we have an extra 13 this is para sa intentions of the holy father okay so uh we're going to start okay sa ibang um Sa ibang Augustinian communities, especially sa US, uh, they have this um, opening prayer na med I don't know kung ginagamit sa Pilipinas kasi the last time it's not being used. I don't know. As far as, far as I can remember, the last time kasi that was 2019 before the lockdown happens. Okay. So, uh, so this is how the, op the opening prayer sa ibang communities would go. Okay. So let us devoutly recite this coronilla for the good of the church, imploring the aid of Our Lady of Consolation and Sanctuary, our Holy Father, St. Augustine, and all the saints. Let us pray. Direct we beseech Thee, O Lord, our actions by Thy holy inspirations, and carry them out by Thy gracious assistance, that every prayer and work of ours begin from Thee and by Thee be happily ended, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And then from here, sisimulan na po natin ang pagtarasal ng coronilla of the 12 articles of faith. Okay? So we will begin with the first set. Uh, the first article, I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, that is our Father at Hail Mary. Then, 
The second article, I believe in Jesus Christ, His only Son, our Lord, is our Father, Hail Mary. The third article, He was conceived by the power of the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, that is our Father, Hail Mary, Ulit. The fourth article, He was suffered under Pontius Pilate, He was crucified, died, and was buried, that is our Father, Hail Mary. The fifth article, he descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. Is now our Father at Hail Mary. On the sixth article, he ascended into heaven, where he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. Is now our Father at Hail Mary, Paulette. Then the seventh article, whence he will come again to judge the living and the dead. Is now our Father at Hail Mary. On the eighth article, uh, I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Ca our Father, Hail Mary. Okay. Then the ninth article, I believe in the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, is our Father, Hail Mary. Tenth article, I believe in the remission of sins, is our Father, Hail Mary. Then for the eleventh article, I believe in the resurrection of the body, that is a poet, our Father, Hail Mary. And on the 12th article, I believe in eternal life is on our Father at Hail Mary. And for the 13th set, the last of the Our Father and Hail Mary are said for the intentions of the Holy Father. Then susundan na po ito na Hail Holy Queen or na Salve Regina. And then after that, babagitin na yung uh, Pray for us, O Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Lord Jesus Christ, Father of mercies and God of all consolation, your faithful rejoice in the protection of the Holy Virgin, Mother of Consolation. Through her motherly intercession, may, may we be freed from all evils in this life and be worthy of, of coming to the eternal joy of heaven where you live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Pray for us, O, o Holy Mother of Consolation, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pray for us, O Holy Father, St. Augustine, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Pray for us, O Holy Mother Monica, that we may be worthy to the promise of the promises of Christ. Pray for us, St. Joseph, our patron, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. Defend, we beseech you, O Lord, through the intercession of the Blessed Virgin Mary, ever virgin, our Holy Father, St. Augustine, and our Holy Mother, St. Monica, this family from adversity and graciously preserve it, prostrate in spirit before you and for all the sinners from the snares of the devil. O God, our refuge and strength and the fountain of all, of all goodness, mercifully hear the fervent prayers of your church and grant that we ask with faith we may effectively obtain through Christ our Lord. O Lord, o Lord, Father of mercies and God of all consolation, grant propitiously to your servants that love of venerating your most pure Mother Mary as Our Lady of Consolation and wearing her honor, this holy cincture. May we may be consoled by her in our sorrows, fortified in our trials through life, and in dying may merit the ineffable consolations of heaven for all eternity. Amen. Okay, so uh, yun, po, yun po ang ating uh, demonstration on how to pray the Coronelia of Our Lady of Consolation and Sanctuary. And if you want yung mismong text ng prayers of the Coronelia, you can check on the, on the description down below so that you can go ahead and also practice it on your own as well. And you can also share it, okay? So, okay. So now, alam na po natin kung paano po dasalin ang koronilya ng mahal na birhen ng konsolasyon. Uh, maganda, mag-isipan din po natin na this kind of rosary is a very essential um, devotion, as especially ngayong panahon na to, where our Catholic faith is being attacked within and outside of the Catholic Church. We all know that. We all know that. And for those who don't know, wake up, honey. That's all I can say. Yun lamang. So, it's about time then that we should rediscover this uh, devotion kasi 
it's uh, this will help us will help us remind kung ano ba ang ating pinaniniw ang ating sinasampalatayanan at kung ano ba ang katuruan ng ating simbahan na dapat nating tandaan at ma pa at kailangan nating pangalagaan at protektahan para hindi tayo maliligaw ng landas lalong lalo na ngayon masyado ng persuasive ang ibang mga sekta as of this at as of this moment Let's, we cannot deny the fact that it's happening at this time. So I guess it's the right time that we would have to reintroduce uh, this kind of devotion sa ating, sa ating kapwa mananampalatayas. So sa mga nais, ano, mal, uh, sa mga nais matuto kung paano yung mga dasal o yung mga dinadasal dito sa koronilya as what I have, I have mentioned in the demo, okay? Uh, I will put the link on the description down below, okay? And also, if you wanted to have something like this as well, I will also put a link down below if so you can uh, makapag-inquire po kayo kung paano po magpakapagsadya ng ganitong rosat, ng ganitong koronilya. And especially sa mga devotees ng Nina San Agustin at ng Mahal na Berhen ng Konsolasyon. At muli po, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa pakipanonood sa ating first vlog. So, uh, I'm hoping to see you again on the next on the next one. So, thank you so much. Uh, papalain po tayo natin pa noon. At Nuestra Senyora de la Consolacion y Korea, ipanalangin niyo po kami at ang ating simbahan na ating bansa. Muli po maraming salamat at hanggang sa muli. Rosario ito ay dead ay uh, is no 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 Yes I cannot believe it I'm saying it <laughs>